Michael, what, uh, tell, me, tell me the biggest challenge for making the record. Uh, just finding people, finding time from, from everybody that was involved in doing it, from the players, yeah. from the engineers, from the studio we recorded at in Malibu, um, which was uh, Dragonfly Creek Studios in Malibu, um, and Charlie Pollard, who's he's our trombone player mm -hmm. and arranger and did the horn section, just trying to find the time to get all the horn players up there and get him up there and get the whole band up there and record. So it's really been mostly a, 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 a time a time management thing and personnel management. I imagine that you, uh, in your other job, probably might stay a little busy too. Yeah, right? so I mean, that's, that's a whole thing. I mean, since this is kind of a, uh, this is a love of music project. Yeah. So it isn't like just paying people to show up. So you have to respect every single person's you know, schedule, and I try and work with all the guys in the band, you know, everybody who works on this, I ask them, you know, do you have time? Yes, no. You know, can we do it then? Yes, no. And if things change, they change, and I just move. That's what takes a while. I imagine, you know. like, respecting everybody's schedule sometimes makes you want to pull your hair out, it's, too, right? It's <laughs> challenging. And, and, like, the horns, I mean, that was hard to get the... Uh, we had Lee Thornburg, who was playing trumpet with us. You know, he's on the road a lot, and we had to find a time when he was actually in town, and the rest of the guys are available. And my favorite uh, trumpet players he, in the world. He's yeah. so good. Yeah, that those sessions with him were. He's brilliant. Yeah, very he really supportive, is. Very supportive of the band too. He's yeah. been he's been one of the people like it. He played with us a bunch live and played on the record, and just hearing him say how much he enjoyed, and that he would even come and play with us. I mean, that was like yeah. the first shock. That he said, yeah, I like it. I'll come play. And then it, as we're recording, it's like, you got to get this stuff out. People should hear the stuff. So him telling me that and hearing that from him was, you know, just kind of helped push me forward and try and get this thing done. Just knowing somebody at that level, totally outside, enjoyed what we were trying to, to do. That really, that helped me a lot. Awesome. Yeah. No, it's it's def this is definitely a modern problem, right? It's, yeah, it's making a modern record. Yeah, it's that's, really some of the stuff you, you run that's into. Exactly right? what it is. Yeah. yeah, you know, people aren't around and time and money, and it's, it's kind of been I sort of shoulder the whole project and I play guitar on it, but yeah, I shoulder everything else. You know, the band plays their parts, but everything else that gets done is all is all basically me. It's a lot of work. T tell me, I was curious about uh, your choice of monitoring. Ah. ah. <laughs> I'm I'm monitoring on the new JBL M2 yeah. speaker. I think it's amazing. It's one of the best speakers I've ever heard. They are awesome. Yeah, they're really, really incredible. So nice. I can hear detail in them that I, I haven't ever heard before in a speaker. Um, I've been I've been using JBLs for a long time. I also have a pair of ATCs. I noticed I them use. in the corner. Yep. Yes. They, they, uh, they're in the corner because they go out with me a lot. I usually nice. take them to other studios when I'm yeah. cutting. Um, but, you know, moving around an M2 setup is... is 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 a heavier lift, yeah. as it were. Um, but yeah, I, this is this is now going on s about eight months with the speakers, and I'm I'm really impressed with them. I'm, I've really fallen into a place where I understand what they're doing. Cool, what yeah. it's all about. Yeah, really, really, really good. I mean, I think you know Peter Chaikin and all the people at JBL have put together a pretty amazing technology package in them. And, you know, being able to mix, um, you know, one of the things that comes along with it is the, the London processor, which is what I choose to do the um, speaker tunings with, uh, gives me a lot of flexibility in how I deal with um, uh, speaker distribution in the room and fold downs in the monitoring and, you know, things that, things that I wouldn't normally have. Like I can figure out my own algorithms for how I want to listen to mono. If, if I'm just mixing the stereo, you know, inverting phase and doing summing like he used to be able to do on the center section of a focus, right? Just lots of flexibility in the processing of it as well, which I, which I didn't think I was going to take as much advantage of as I ended up. The BSS, those processes are yeah. so nice and the flexibility is awesome. I can put all the control on a touch panel, which I like. Nice. And it's in the studio set up for 7.1? Mm -hmm. Studio set up for 7.1 and Atmos at the same time. Nice. So we ended up uh, Technicolor. We uh, are basically all JBL, BSS, and Crown. Yeah. And it's all of their stuff top down sounds great, especially this new stuff. The stuff Peter did, the 7 series, the 708s and 705s. I've put in a lot of those. So nice. And M2s are just even nicer, yeah. even bigger, is so smooth. Sweet. Beautiful sounding speakers, all of them, that whole seven series. Well, I tell you, it's, it's, really, it's, it's really neat to talk about this 
you know, this project, it's a love project, right? Absolutely. It's definitely, not, definitely not a, a passion huge project. studio uh, extravaganza, no, but... Not even close. Yeah. Not Between two people who have a long-term relationship, that's really neat. Yeah, I was just call, calling in favors. This was like a, all over, over where I've been working in this business for like 40 years. And finally, everybody's like, yeah, I'll be happy to help you. I'll be happy. And finally, like, okay, you said you help me out. <laughs> it's time to be it's happy. It's time, time, time to help. <laughs> really? Did I, pleasure. did I say that? Awesome. <laughs> but it's been great. People have been super supportive. And, you know, him and uh, Westlake's been helpful. And Charlie over at um, Dragonfly, Dragon Creek Fly. Dragonfly Creek. I can never get that right. Dragonfly Creek Studios. I mean, it's been great. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us today. Thank You're you welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. When you're in Hollywood, please pop over the hill and visit us at our store in Universal City, Westlake Pro. Check out our gear. Check out our events. Check us out at westlakepro.com, social media at Westlake Pro. And this is Peter Malik. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you here at Westlake Pro.